Hi guys, welcome back. Let me give you one practical example. Suppose your company pays office rent every month, but the landlord always send the invoice next month. But accounting point of view, we are not going to record the transaction in, in this way. Now here is the question that how we will show this September rent because technically if we'll try to understand in September we are not going to have any rent or any particular month we don't have the rent invoice because rent we are going to get the invoice we are going to get next month if we are going to when we are going to get the invoice then only if we are going to post the transaction so in that case the same month rent we are not going to never we are going to record in the current month as a result in your P&L you are not going to show the rent in your cost of production we are not going to record the rent because we never received the invoice for that particular month. In this video, we are going to discuss all this and uh, from the accounting point of view, we will also try to understand this one. So we will understand what are the accounting is involved here. So it is based on the actual concept so that we will understand on how we are going to manage this one in the SAP so that every month without having the invoice, how we are going to post the entry in the system. All right, so let's take the example. So our company has to pay the office rent let's say 3000 every 3000 rupees every month and as i said the landlord send the invoice for the september month only in the october so every month invoice we are going to get the next month but we have to make the but we have to record the transaction in the same month as per the accounting concept now here the problem is if we will wait for the october rent means October invoice so that means in September we are not going to post any transactions as we have we never received the September rent invoice in September so that's why in PNL of September we are not going to record that transaction so as a result you are going to show that zero rent expense for the current month because current month invoice we are going to get next month so that is not the correct from the accounting point of view because we are not going to record the transaction on the basis of cash it means when there will be inflow or outflow we are going to record the tra transactions we are working on accrual concept so office we are going to use means office rent is due in september so that is why you take any accounting standard whether it is ifrs or local gap so always we have to record the current month transaction in the same month itself so how do we are going to manage this one right so how this accrual concept is applicable here so for that purpose first we have to understand that in accounting point of view what are the provisions are available here every month in end when we that entry is due or the expense is due so accrual rent is due so that means we are going to post the transaction in the system so what should be the accounting entry in this case so accounting entry will be your rent expense is going to debit because your normal expense 3000 and this transaction supposed to be posted in the system end of the september without having any invoice and credit will be as we have not received the invoice yet for the current month so we are not going to credit the vendor or accounts payable will not be there so that is why here we are going to use the uh, accrued liability outstanding liability anything you can name it so here debit will be your rent expense and credit will be accrued liability 3000 now if we are going to post like this then in that case what is the benefit to the business in PNL September month PNL we are going to show that 3000 as your expense entry so for the september profit and loss we are going to have your pnl and in the pnl we are going to show this rent expense 3000 without having invoice although we have not received invoice but still we are going to show this one in our pnl plus we are also going to transfer this balance to our cost of production calculation because rent is your overhead too so this is our step one step two first of october or any time in the beginning of the uh, subsequent month so that entry which we have posted last month as actually we have not received the invoice yet so that need to be reversed in the system so in this case what should be the accounting entry earlier we have credited the accrued liability so that we are going to debit here so debit will be your accrued liability and credit will be your rent expense because actually we have not received the invoice so that is why the rent which was debited earlier now it is going to be credited so in this way temporary it is a uh, temporary adjustment this clears the temporary adjustments or whatever last time we have posted it's cleared so this is our step number two step number three when actually we are going to receive the invoice let's say second of october we received the invoice from the vendor so that day we are going to post the transaction as 5th of october let's say so debit the rent expense 3000 
maybe we are going to post the transaction on 5th october that means in this case entry date will be 5th of october but actually we are going to post the transaction uh, post the transaction for september so debit will be the rent expense 3000 for september period and credit the vendor 3000 this time we are going to credit the vendor actually we have received the invoice so this will be our step number 3 then finally on 5th october as for the contract we are going to pay to the vendor so this time the vendor is going to be debit vendor is going to debit 3000 and credit will be your bank account so this is in this way we are going to uh, justify both our accounting as well as from the costing requirement point of view and we are also going to manage this one in the SAP system. Like this many business scenarios I am covering in my live training. So this is a SAP FICO 100% project because I used to get a lot of feedbacks that we have the knowledge but we don't know how to apply in the project. So that is why this course I have designed. So it's 100% uh, on live training and uh, there will be all the business scenarios everything will be covered here and Im most important this it's a practical project oriented training so when you will upgrade yourself from the user role to consulting role or from the analyst to the consulting role so you will feel the confidence because every business scenarios everything we are going to configure in the system and if you we'll go to towards the end you will find that three projects i have included here so these are our the real time projects you may consider although these are our capstone projects but all the scenarios everything will be on real time data right and the current example would right now it's demonstrating so you can see it is related to one of our month and activities and it is accrual concept so it is part of like basically when you are going to configure newly so it is part of your implementation project and on day-to-day -day basis i mean operational point of view it is part of your support project so you may check out this particular uh, page for more details so this one is going to help you who is completely new or if you are working on sap but not at consultant level you are there in the user level so if you want to upgrade you may check this one now back to the topic the same scenario we are going to try in our existing company code uh, which is our a100 first i need to create the required gl master here so the gl master two gl masters are required here so one will be your rent expense which is part of your p and l and another one will be your accrued rent so i'm going to quickly create those gl accounts so one will be our rent expense let me create it under here expense group so this will be our cost because this value we will transfer to cost of production calculation so it should be primary cost and the group whatever we have configured in our obd4 settings so this will be our office rent And as here the cost object or cost center will be applicable. So I need to add here the cost element category as one. Fill status group should be four because cost center is mandatory here. So this GL account 3003 as per my requirement, this will be our rent expense. So I created the GL account. Now I need to create one more GL account that is your accrued rent. So credit entry point of view accrued liability or accrued rent anything you can say but this one i'm going to create accrued rent uh, accrued liability because in future some more scenarios i am going to add here so accrued liability i will take here and that will be my balance sheet accrued liability so as we have created the gl masters required gl masters now we are going to use the transaction code here fbs1 to create the required transactions and this activity we are going to complete in the last week of the month so you can take uh, uh, i'm taking here example 30th uh, that is september and i will take the posting date here as 30th september so the transaction code will be fbs1 so the date i will take here 30th september same will be the posting date 
and uh, document type it's gl posting so document type will be essay and period it will be sixth period september i am following april to march right so this will be my rent expense rent expense and uh, here we need to reverse this particular transaction next month so you have to specify here the reversal region then reversal date when you, you want it should be reversed so i will take this one as reversal date will be the first october then continue gl is going to debit rent expense is going to debit so posting key 40 and here expense will be office rent 3003 and credit will be your outstanding uh, the amount will be as per our, our example it is 3000 cost center we are going to use 2002 and it is our rent expense posting then credit will be the liability not the vendor so it is not vendor invoice so accrued liability we are going to credit 5001 and post so document posted 1002 so this transaction was posted on 30th September benefit is now this 3000 you will find that it is recorded in your GL so so that it will be part of your PNL GL account we have created as 3003 and the expense is recorded just like your normal expense although we have not received any invoice yet. not only that also this value should reflect in the cost center too because it is a part of our cost of production calculation so specify here the cost center which you have used here so this is related to your admin department cost so that also we have captured and it is related to september data okay done so activity related to september month it's completed now coming to the step number two so here if we'll check the document once i will look into the document which we posted now so you will find that your rent expense is debited here that is your office rent debited here and your accrued liability credited so as we have also configured document splitting so here the balance it line does not have any profit center and segment but if i will go to the gl view automatically i got here the required profit center and the segment now coming to segment uh, step number two in step number two we are going to reverse the reversal and it is in this activity we are going to perform next month subsequent month so now assume that today is first october and today is first october itself so we are going to reverse the transactions now the record to report team they are going to reverse the already posted transaction and that will be f.81 it is part of record to report business process now let's see uh, whether the particular document is reversed or not so as we have completed f.81 so check here so this is my original document which is document number 1002 and as i have completed f.81 uh, so the second document is generated which is 1003 so this account is nullified and uh, now we have received the vendor invoice and we are going to post the vendor in invoice in the system so when the landlord is going to send the invoice assume that on 1st october we are going to post the vendor invoice so we will debit here the rent expense and we are going to credit the vendor okay so this i am going to post it through fb60 so it will be the non pure invoice i am posting if you want you can also post a pure related invoice select the supplier vendor and invoice date this is october entry but the transaction we are posting the right now for which month this month this is related to september so i will take the document date is september 30th september let's say and the entry date will be the current date so reference i am going to give here that it is our september rent then the gl account will be 3003 that will be our rent office rent and amount here it will be 3000 and it will be 3000 okay so posting date is the date when it was entered so 1st october but invoice date i have taken here 30th september and it post this is your actual transaction 
now you can see the document number is a different one 19000 and with this we are going to have the rent is updated here 3000 so this is your plus entry vendor invoice and this time what is the accounting entry this time your accounting entry is rent account debited office rent debited and your vendor credited last time it was there office rent was debit accrued rent was credit so on last day 30th september i posted the accrual entry then automatically we reversed it on 1st october and on 1st october we are going to post the vendor invoice okay now finally we are going to make the payment to the vendor so which is nothing but your f-53 so this will be a normal vendor invoice posting so it will be f-3 or the ap team is going to make the payment so this will be financial accounting accounts payable document entry and go for outgoing payment so as a vendor invoice posted so now we are going to make the payment so here ap team is going to perform that f-53 and uh, it is related to september rent so i will take here 30th it's payment actually rent already posted and posting date will be 5th october 5th october is sunday let me take your third one and uh, here you are going to what is the accounting entry bank is going to credit and vendor is going to debit in our case bank account we have not yet created so in future it will come for the timing i will take your cash account for the credit or the payment point of view so 1000 and the paid amount is 3000 and the vendor we are going to select here for debit or outstanding so from where i got this information this is i got it from the vendor line items vendor line item display so this vendor 10000 outstanding balance is 3000 so that we are going to pay to the vendor select continue okay so this balance has to be zero it is related to ap the payment part is related to ap rest of the things are part of your accounts are part of your record to report and done so finally the vendor payment done and it is end of our process zero so initially it was in the red color now it is paid so green so no liabilities uh, available against your vendor so now why it is important from interview point of view and from the business point of view because it's a very uh, common real life scenario that uh, always uh, the closing team the rec uh, reconciliation team they are working on this one so we have many expenses like your rent electricity phone so this as per the service contract we are going to pay to the vendor means always after congestion only the bill will be generated and which will be paid next month but accounting uh, accounting point of view we are working on the accrual concept so that is why in our books of accounts we have to record it in which month it is actually due like in this case september month rent was due in september although it is paid in october but initially to maintain our books of account so first we have recorded this one in september then we reverse the transactions and next month once we received the invoice we posted the invoice so this is very important for your reporting point of view for your mi's point of view and in this case the accrual entries or accrual concept is applicable so if in interview we are getting a questions how do you handle the rent expenses when invoice comes later or the question will be there what are the different accrual examples you can give which right now you are using in the business so confidently you can answer this one but for this again in system all these things you practically once you'll experience then only you can answer this one uh, otherwise if you try to by learn something then interview will get confused because cross questions will be there and that time it is uh, not possible so that is why i always believe that uh, the theory will be good or the uh, your answer will be good if each and everything you are going to try in the system because it's a uh, practical things so all the scenarios related to business process only so that's why hand, hands on or 100 percent practical is required so if you have any questions feel free to add in the mail or you can add in the comments i will reply on that see you soon with another scenario bye